This is the 22nd part of our Minish Cap walkthrough, and uh, we're going to start exploring the third dungeon in the game, the Fortress of Winds. It's by far the best dungeon in this game, I tell you what. <laughs> I mean, no, no. This is, this dungeon, like, it's horrible. I think it's by far, like, the worst dungeon in the game. It's just, as you I can agree. see, like, I right agree. off the bat, it's kind of bland. It is. The, the colors theme, are the not The theme is, like, I don't, I don't, we don't understand it's, the theme. It's kind of high. It's kind of yeah. low, and then there's no aspect of wind to this dungeon whatsoever. No. And that's what that throws me off. I mean, going all the way back to Ocarina of Time and getting the Shadow Temple with the wind uh -huh. elements in there, uh -huh. and then Wind Waker, of course, had the... the uh, I totally forgot the Shadow Temple had any wind elements to it until now. Like, then you see a dungeon called the Fortress of yeah. Winds, we're like, oh man, they're going to really take this to a new level. There is not a single yeah, element of wind. <laughs> I mean, that was very fresh. I mean, I was like, because I remember I got into this, I was like, ooh, Fortress of Winds. I yeah. really like this dungeon. It might be my favorite. Because I've always like, there's not been a lot of wind dungeons, but I've always liked them. And I think that's part of their appeal, though, is they're so rare. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Well, that, exactly. But like, yeah. I just remember being excited, and then like, I was like halfway through this thing, and I was like, "There's no wind <laughs> whatsoever in this place. Like, where does this like even come from?" Which yeah. actually makes sense. There used to be like a, uh, a the tribe. tribe. Yeah, it used to be called the Wind Tribe. They used to live here. Yeah, and in the Wind which, Ruins. Yeah, which is why it's called the Wind Ruins, and they moved somewhere else, and we'll be seeing them later on in the game. They certainly didn't leave any wind behind for us. No, they didn't. Like, <laughs> what's the thing? Like, did this used to be like a windy area or something? I have no idea. Are swamps, like, the swamps right there, so, like, are swamps windy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to quit talking about it, because now I'm just getting furious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <it. laughs> but anyway, I will say there, there are a few things we like, though, about this dungeon. Right here, like, the use of the bow that we picked up in the uh, Wind Ruins. Uh -huh. I think is really well implemented into this. So is that step right there? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you were close. You were but close. But no, I mean like, like you know, there's a lot of not not a lot of ions, but sometimes in Zeta, like if you get something out of the dungeon, like you don't really end up using it that much throughout the entire game. Yeah, and, like it was nice to bring back the bow in this dungeon, even though we didn't get it in this dungeon. Yeah, but the, I, it's very well implemented with like the shooting the eyeballs. We have to fight some of these Igor statues uh -huh. right here. It's not. Uh, they did a good job with it. Like, even though, like you said, it wasn't actually the dungeon yeah. item. Well, I like at the end of this video, we'll actually begin the dungeon item, and I just like that. Well, we got two items pretty quickly together, we and then we also we use both of them in this dungeon because it's really a good mix of the, the bow and the item that will be yeah. done later on. Really, well, it's nice to finally get a, a uh, offensive weapon in uh -huh. one, like, or we didn't get it in the dungeon. I know, but like, like Gustar's not offensive. Well, it's offensive to Dude, my that's sensibility. A power, that's, <laughs> a power tool, that's a power tool rain, waiting right there, man. It's it's, it's something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't know what effect that would ever have on anybody. Yeah. And also, you saw in that previous room right there, this is the first dungeon where we'll start using that uh, that trick we learned with the sword to duplicate. And oh, yeah, yeah, that we got through the uh, Cave of Flames, right? Yeah, and okay. uh, we can actually make copies of Link as we did a few uh -huh. times in the old It creates some uh, good puzzles, but also some frustrating puzzles in this game. Oh, my goodness, it does, especially later on when you got four Links running around. One of the most, <laughs> most frustrating things is like, when you hit the uh, one that's not like regular Link, like the one's mm. a clone. Like, it's so easy, like, if you hit a wall, like, he oh, just, like, yeah. cancels out, you know, and it's so easy to do that, and I remember that being so frustrating, like, you actually got time, like, which one you want, I guess I'll call him Heavy Link. Yeah. Or yeah. Real Link, you gotta actually think about where you want to put him, so he's against the walls, I guess. Yeah. But they do come up with some creative puzzles for it, though, like, right here, uh -huh. we'll be, like, up and down to move this block. Yeah. But then we're gonna switch to, like, uh, side to yes, side always, to side yeah. uh -huh. to move and the other it way. took me a while, <laughs> man. Like, you would think simple, like, kindergarten shapes. And, yeah. Like, and, uh, but no, it took me forever the first I, I, time I did this. I think this. it did me, too. I mean, it just, it's... It I was like so I, simple. I never but. thought about moving that uh, left one right there. Yeah, I was yeah. like, eh, this can't be that important. I just, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what I tried to do on that one though. But once you do move it, then it becomes a little obvious. But yeah, it's hard yeah. to even think to move it. That nice little touch right there. That we're, I think we're both. Yeah, yeah. About well, I thought you were going to talk, and then like you looked at me, and I was like, well, I think we had the same point actually yeah, coming you know, up. We up definitely. Here. Uh, I know you all can't see it, but there was a glare between. Yeah. Well, that sounds kind of. <laughs> <laughs> there was a look between me and Red that was like, uh, <laughs> same thought, but neither one of us spoke. Yeah, and what we were going to say here is that <laughs> the effect of, like, that key falling down uh -huh. on multiple levels, and then Link jumping down after it, I thought it was uh -huh. really, you know, I really did, like, seeing it drop through the floors, like, yeah. I don't know, it's just, like, it's a little, like, a, not detailed, just, like, a little effect that, I mean, yeah. you know, not, not nothing, like, spectacular, but just a little bit different that was just kind of yep. cool. 
Plus, hearing like scream down, falling down three and you gotta, stories. Yeah, you gotta think like a two D game. That's like more. That's cooler in a two D mm -hmm. game than it is like you know in a three D game. Yeah, just because uh, to even have multiple floors and things like that, uh -huh. is a little tougher to do. Yeah, and to down. fall through them. Yeah, you know, exactly. So it's well done enough. Yeah. So we both thought that was a nice touch. There. Yeah. One of the few nice touches. In this yeah. Budget. Kind of felt like uh, the whole Deku tree when you jumped down. Yeah. You didn't have a web, of course, but you know, kind of like felt like that fall a little bit, I guess. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now I do like this main room right here. I mean, there's kind of like a lot going on. We got to a uh, door to the bottom, which I don't know where that goes right now. I don't remember. Um, we got some <laughs> two doors to the top. We actually, that's the dungeon map right there. We'll yeah. Begin. And these two doors up top lead to two different, uh, two areas, like, yeah. different areas. Yeah. I, was, I guess you could call this the main hub of this dungeon. I think so. I think so. We cut, we end up back in here a couple of times, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we do. We do. Yeah. There's like, there's actually a lot of backtracking. As you can see, we fell oh, out there. Oh, yeah. There's actually a lot of backtracking because we'll fall over on the other side. And then, like, at the yeah, very bottom, did. there's five doors. So you kind of got to. Go to yeah. the top and then go back down to like you know go through certain doors and get to certain areas. Yeah, yeah. Now it is cool. Oh, I, I had a point. It's it's gone now. I it happens. Really lost it. it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, you finish your thought and I had it. Oh, you want to talk about those bricks, didn't you? Oh, like, oh, oh that was yeah, going around the rocks. Well, I thought it was like. Don't worry, Red. I'll remember you, for you. You're looking out for me. Um, oh, I hate those guys. Yeah, but, uh, Wall Masters. Oh, they're a pain. They're a pain. Like, riding the, of course, riding moving platforms is nothing new in Zelda Yeah, uh-huh. But throwing in, like, bricks that you have to keep moving around on the moving platform so you don't get knocked off, uh -huh. I thought was a neat little touch. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, playing man, using a juke move. Yeah. Like R2, like R2 and L2 or whichever button it was. Side I don't know. Yeah, steps. yeah. Side, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of some mad little touch to it right there. Yeah. Now I will say I remember uh, when you fought the first Dark Nut outside of this dungeon. You said you could, you'd forgotten that you could. Uh, at first you forgot you could use the Pegasus boots. Yeah, to, uh -huh. to kill him. But you uh, you owned that. Well, one. I don't know if I forgot <laughs> the last or last couple parts, but I know like the first time I played it, yeah. I didn't know like till almost the very end of the game. Yeah. That you, that you could use the Pegasus boots, and oh my lord, those things are a pain. If you can't use the Pegasus boots. And another thing about like those, original Legend. Oh my god. Dark yeah. Nut <laughs> pain. Like those kind of pain. You can't get a hit oh, on him. Yeah. I hate them. Um, also, when we fought that first Dark Nut, I, we both kind of talked about like the triangles that were on the wall that we thought were maybe there? there some kind of the, yeah. Oh, I didn't was, see them. I didn't, wasn't even paying attention. And there's to that. actually they're actually kind of all throughout this dungeon. Like you see them right here. I do. I do. They're they're, uh, they're not the red like we uh -huh. saw earlier, but it's just I guess it's more of a symbol of the of the wind triangle. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. As opposed to like and the I'm still kind of curious. Like yeah, does it even have anything to do with the Triforce? Maybe it's yeah. just like you know the wind tribe symbol, like you just said, like you know yeah. a, a triangle, which. I don't know what kind of symbol is just one triangle. I don't know. Now three together, that's the best that's symbol ever. That's awesome, yeah. The best symbol ever, but just one, you know, I don't really know. Yeah, but I guess it's just their, uh, their yeah. people. Or they just need something yeah. to spice up this Now, dungeon. this was obviously pretty obvious, <laughs> but I did not have a click upon that area the first time. Like, I just oh like, I walked right past those two skulls and didn't even think about it. Well, it's not as clearly marked as some areas you can bomb. I mean, it doesn't uh -huh. look like much of a cracked wall. It's not a cracked wall at all. It's just those yeah. two, like, skulls, and, like, I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And I just ended up walking right past <laughs> it. I was like, oh, my God, there's a treasure chest in here, but, like, what in the world is this treasure yeah. chest? And if then it would be, be, like, the most important thing in the dungeon. And it's kind of a bit of an important treasure chest, but now that we've gotten it, uh, this wraps up part 22 of the Minish Cap.